Salve the spectators, it's my supposed welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. We just looted some paladins. Gold gilded or golden paladins? I forgot. Um, where does it say? Gold packed paladin. Okay. And we looted a grimoire and he is a priest. He cannot use grimoires. It's locked. Same with our warriors here, but he has one. And I wonder... If I can absorb these guys... Okay. Aloth doesn't now ghost blades. If you raise it from this grimmer, you won't be able to scribe it again. Huh. So does... Oh crap, he didn't learn it. What? So does he have now this spell? Nope. Oh, I maybe have done I uh, maybe have made a mistake here. Nevertheless, we'll play on. It's no big deal, I guess. Um I will check this out off screen. What exactly is the problem here? Or how you can Huh use spells from another grimoire? I'm not sure. Huh. Okay, never mind. Let's yes. move on. How may Maybe I had to unpause. Grimoire cooldown active. What the hell? Okay. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So the only thing left is to check out these ruins here. Interesting. There's a smaller cottage adjacent. Will-o-wisp. Interesting. Let's just engage. Get a knockdown. When I say does this do... Okay, increases accuracy. He's instantly... Uh, Okay, it was easy, but he got this. I don't know what was it. Right. He w wasn't able to fight. That was it. Wait a second. There's something to lose. Olin's cradle. Okay. Is there something? No. Okay, let's enter the house. Hmm. Ah, there's something. Settle. I have to be more mm -hmm. watchful here. Wonder if there's something in here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Some fruit. Lockpick, interesting. Hmm, a bed. Two chairs. And here, something else. Rope and grappling hook and camping supplies. Interesting. So I will rest here. Hmm. Damage versus flanked. I don't know. Heal multiplier, damage reduction. He gets heal multiplier. All right. You wake to the sensation of being shaken, and you open your eyes to see Adair standing over you, his hand jostling your shoulder. He looks concerned. Your eyes are heavy, and your vision blurred, the vague unease of unremembered nightmares clouding your thoughts. You're not sure you slept at all the previous night. Hey. Hey. You're awake? Good. You were... Uh... You were kind of thrashing around, eyes rolled back in your head. You were shaking. I'm trying to snap you out of it for a long time now. I was gonna have to get a bucket of cold water. You, uh, you don't seem like you get much rest at night. You got those dark circles under your eyes. I wonder how he sees that with me having the, the full helmet on there. Not lately. At night there are dreams and whispers. It's the Watcher thing, then. 
I'm sure it just takes some time to adjust is all. I'll try to let it sort itself out. But you better wake up faster next time. Trust me, you don't want that bucket of cold water. What's well, just some nice uh, small dialogue here? So he's definitely friendly. I like the great sword. It's it's very big. <laughs> so maybe it was the hut or the will o wisp and this strange ruin here. I guess it is a ruin from a big tower, but why is this hut there? Oh, never mind. So, oh cool, it's a new day here. Uh, much nicer. <laughs> Adra formation. I don't think we can do anything over there. So, let's move further south. To the coast, maybe? I'm not sure. It's interesting that it doesn't really say where we have to go. Here it says we have to travel to Kite Nua. And this is here. So we should go east. Okay, they take different routes. Interesting. Oh wait, Anslug's compass. Something was there. Um, here we go. We have to speak to Madaranga at Anslug's compass, so why not? Six hours, yeah, accept it. Accept. Interesting, looks looks different. It's, it's definitely coastal terrain with beaches and driftwood and forest. Tilly, Ekdrang, wonder if they're hostile. Doesn't look like it. Two villagers stand by one of the tidy pools. Of the tide pools. They're breathing harshly. Clearly winded. Look up nervously as they approach. How do you do? If you're here to fish, as we were, stranger, you want to avoid the compass proper. The dwarven woman points to the southeast. Her companion shakes his head. A lot of ships wind up spread across the rocks here, so we didn't think much of the wreckage. Until we heard something. A terrible noise. I thought maybe it was a survivor, but he wasn't alive. Moving, but not truly alive. She shudders. It was awful. What do you mean? What did you see? Corpses. Walking corpses. We don't want any part of it. Whatever the cause. Might be we can find something in these tide pools. And then we're heading straight home. You said there are a lot of shipwrecks here? The woman nods. All the time. It's a lovely place, but dangerous as anything to sail. Good fishing most days. She wipes her brow. I think we'll look further up the coast next time. What are you two doing here? Fishing, of course. Except I lost my fishing rod when I flung it at the head of one of those monsters. He sighs. <sighs> we were looking at the tide pools over and thought we'd try a look down by the rocks. Got the fright of our lives. We'll have to make do with these nets here, or go hungry. And well, farewell. Good tidings to you. Wait, do you hear that? Anders combat. It's only Zorips, so I think we can finish them off quickly. Just attack them. Yeah. Yeah, they go down quickly. He will do a uh, arcane assault, maybe an all four. Ah, uh, no, three of them. Wait a second, did she die just now? Do the grimoire slam. Did the woman die? Mm -hmm. Holy crap. Thank you for your help, stranger. I think she died. This is bad. Kill Sorib. Um, kill Sorib. Sorib killed Tilly, indeed. 
Wow, that was bad. But we can loot her, right? Sure. So what does she have? Civil Lucer. Spear, which is pretty weak. Dire with clothing. Nothing, pretty much. The most I wouldn't originated in the Adir Empire, their wooden clothing has changed a great deal since the initial waves of colonization. I wouldn't favor tough garments. Wood and deer skin. Oh no, not enchant. Just take it. So I'm oh. sorry that I couldn't rescue her, but you know. Can't help everybody. Oh, I like the music. I'll shut up for a while. Uh. Of course, when we fight, there's a change in music. So why exactly did he engage? Oh my god, because he's... <laughs> I, I equipped the melee weapons there. Get the Grimoire Slam in. Disengage and get this one going. They are tough bastards. This one, and you focus on this one. I shall deal with this one. All right. So they go down, but I think they're stronger than in the beginning. Can this be? Yeah. What, is, what the hell is going on there? Nah, it was nothing. So a lot of hostile enemies. Is this ice or beach? I guess it's beach, but because it's such a, such a strange night, it looks like ice. Okay. Uh-oh. Ranga and Tana. So they are not hostile Zorips. Interesting. Fish and clumps of seaweed, bright green with heat, royal in a stew. It tastes pleasantly salty. So there's nothing else pretty much to do. We can't talk of course to Ranya. Ranga. You find yourself facing a towering Almawa woman. Her skin is the warm gold brown of a dying sunset, with pale, fish white patches at throated hands. Wavy red brown hair pulled into tight braids around a stripe of bare skin that follows the curve of her skull, flows down over her broad shoulders. Hail and well met. She regards you calmly, evidently unsurprised to find you here at the edge of their camp by the water. Have you come for medicines and craft works, or the share of fire? She gestures to the large cauldron nearby. Who are you? My name is Ranga. I live in Gilded Vale at the time, working as a healer and a midwife. Perhaps you've been to that place, you'll understand then why I might choose to come south. In any case, it is far more comfortable here, by the shore, where I can hear the water, and I still get visitors from time to time. Perhaps you're in need of something. Do you have anything for sale? Certainly, have a look. Uh, we are well provisioned with camping supplies, thank you. Could buy some foodstuffs, don't need that really. And it seems that they all have endless amounts of money. Copper or however it's called. So we can sell all the wolf hide and so forth. Nah, the grain I can, I think we can eat. I don't know, I'll just trade this one. Hail traveler. What's a Zorib doing here? Who, Tana? He helps me gather ingredients, work the cauldron, things like that. He's been quite a help around here. Zorib lets out a rattling chirp and bares its teeth in what you guess is intended to be a cheerful expression. <laughs> okay. Ofra sent me here. She says that you know some way to ensure that her child is not a hollowborn. Ah, more of Lord Redrick's frightened flock. She nods slowly. You're kind to come all this way. Poor Orphra must be beside herself. I imagine she gave you something for payment. 
Whatever it is, you keep it. I don't need coin. I need you to do something for me instead. Ranga points inland. There's a Saurib tribe to the northeast. Led by one of their priests. Tana was exiled from there some time ago. And their scouts still lurk about this place. Waiting for an opportunity to end his life. The Zorib lets out a rattling squeak, head drooping. One day I will have to go for supplies, and I will come back to find my assistant slain. How will I help anyone then? She shakes her head. You rid me of this nuisance, and I will do what I can for Ofra, and throw in something for you too. Alright, I'll be back when it's done. Good, good. You'll find them easy enough, I think. She smiles, baring her sharp teeth. Good luck. So, so first I thought um, she's some kind of a, I don't know, a, a peaceful midwife or something, but she wants a whole tribe of Sorib slain so just he can survive? What the hell is this logic? I don't really get it. And why are the mages in the front? This is stupid. Thank you. So in the northeast, she said. Is it this one? Maybe. Grimoire slam. Sush, you go forward. And you just attack normally. Grimoire slam on the other one. Oh, nice. How may I help? Okay, they got slaughtered pretty quick. Lee. Mm. So I'm pretty sure this is the cave he was talking about. She was talking about. Northeast. I mean, it's complete. It's it's ten meters away. How can they not attack this cave? Could put out a torch, but crap. I may have wanted to save before that. Dang spore. <laughs> okay. Huh. We have to be careful here. Yeah. Okay. Do a Grimoire Slam here. You attack this one. Adair is already going oh, down. Okay. You could do one of these. Good. And instantly another one. Good. Oh, come on. Why do you need so much time here? Okay, he's done. Uh oh, he got knocked out. Shit. Good thing that these guys did not engage. Can we retreat? Excellent. Sure. Okay, this was, I think, a yes. little bit bugged out. He has concussion. Still the bonuses from the camp. Okay. Yeah. So let's save and re-engage. I think this should not have happened like it did. Uh. So let's hey. get the crossbow in. Hmm. Focus on this one. Nice damage. You get your arcane assault. Okay, he's already dazzled. Get your melee attack, and you as well. Let's focus on this one. 
Come on. Okay, he's still in some kind of coma. How may I help? Come on, kill it. Okay, he's back. Let's check out. Hmm. I can only use all these guys seven times as a whole. I could use the radius, of course. One per encounter, no problem. And the healing hand is not necessary. Just shoot from a distance. You get the arcane assault. And attack normally. Hey there, get your Rima Slam. Ah, no, the knockdown. Okay, it's down. Let's loot everything. I don't think this was the cave she thought about. Because these strange spores. They got him good. Ooh, there are no more corpses, that's interesting. Moss and mold cover the bones like a blanket. They smell earthly and wet. Corpse got a coin. Can, can't I loot mm. this one? Interesting. He only has some coin as well. Cave Corral. There's some stuff. I guess we will I try to this with this guy if there's a trap. Ooh, Arbalest. Interesting, let's check it out. Where did it go? Here. Hunting bow. Um, 2131, 25, ooh, it's very strong. Not enchanted. Arbalest or heavy crows, both exceptionally high power. They must be hand cranked before loading. Okay, so let's give ourselves the Arbalest and 1524. Nah, it's just better. I wonder if we can give the mage. So it's here we have a uh, average 12 to 18 pierce slash. And we have average. Tw it's just better the war bow. So it, I know it looks stupid, but let's equip uh, the archer, uh, the mage with the war bow. And the. Hmm. The other mage has 10 to 15. Nah, it's fine. Warbo, the star. Yeah, he has the saber and the shield if he has to go into melee. That's fine. So we looted mm. this cave. I don't think there's any much in there. And this is all for this episode. We will have to tackle the Sorips in the next one. I thank you all for watching and I will see you soon.